Hey guys, what's up? It's Rachel and welcome back. And today we have got three different mermaid inspired DIYs. You guys absolutely loved the mermaid dessert video, so I thought it would be super fun to follow up with some different mermaid DIYs. We've got these really cute ocean inspired water candles. These are amazing. When I first heard about water candles, I thought for sure I was gonna burn my house down. I was like low key looking up how to use a fire extinguisher because I thought that this was going to be like a DIY disaster. However, as you can see, the house is still intact and the candles are super cute. We've also got the mermaid inspired bath bombs, super fun, super easy. And then finally, we're gonna be breaking out our inner Bob Rosses and making some really cute wall art paintings. I really don't do a lot of painting normally because I'm not very good at it, but these are really simple designs and I'll show you guys how it's done. And then before we get started, make sure you tap that subscribe button down below for new videos every single week. And without further ado, let's hop right into it. First off, let's make the water candles. So you're going to need some seashells. I picked these ones up from Michaels and they're pretty inexpensive, but you could also get them from the beach if you're feeling adventurous. And then we're just going to paint some kawaii faces on these. So I'm just using some acrylic paint here and you'll notice that I'm actually using the back of my paintbrush and a toothpick. And that's because I find that no matter how fine the paintbrush is, the bristles are still gonna be too frayed for you to paint on really fine, precise details. So that's why I like to use the toothpick. And then I'm just going to brush some glaze over this. This is just some polymer clay glaze. And you don't really have to glaze the entire shell, just basically pat it on the face. And that way it's not going to dissolve in the water. And then here you can see I probably had way too much fun painting a whole bunch of different seashells. Next up, you'll wanna grab your glass container that's going to hold your candle and just trace around that onto some clear plastic. And you can usually find this clear plastic on packaging or on food containers, stuff like that. Once you have that ready to go, you're basically just going to trim this and you want it small enough to fit inside the mouth of your container. And now you're going to need some birthday candles. I like using birthday candles for this because they're inexpensive and the wick is nice and thin. Only thing is that you kind of have to like smash them up and then peel off the wax. Felt kind of weird like smashing up birthday candles, but I think it's a great solution still. Now back to our clear plastic discs. I'm just gonna grab an X-Acto knife and just cut an X in the center. Then you'll want to poke a toothpick through, and that way we can thread our wick through really easily. To finish this off, you'll just want to tie a knot in the back, and then trim off any excess. The next step is just to fill up our containers with some pretty rocks. These are like the kind that you can find in Moncala sets, but just pick whatever colors you would like to. And just a quick tip, sand is definitely a no-go here. I thought it would be super cute, but it turns out that when you pour the water in, it gets super cloudy and sedimenty. Not really the look we're going for. So just go for some marbles or some pebbles, whatever you have lying around. Next up, we can just arrange our cute little seashells inside the containers. And then I also added in some of these little baby seashells just to act as filler pieces. Make sure you kind of bury them underneath the marbles though, because you don't want them to float away. And now we are just going to pour in the water. You wanna do this kind of slowly, just so you don't disturb too many of the little pieces down there. I did get one little floater, but that's okay. Just push them back down. And then fill up the rest of your containers as well. This is a really fun craft. It's super easy, and you can throw whatever kind of trinkets you want in there, whatever makes you happy. These seashells just make me happy as a clam. You knew that was coming at some point, but now I'm just adding some canola oil to my containers. You're looking for a pretty thin layer of canola oil, basically as thin as you can get it while it still covers the whole surface. However, as you can see here, I was maybe only moderately successful on the thinness, but don't sweat it, you can just scoop it out. Next up, you can just carefully place your wick on top, and then before you light the candles, just make sure you have them in the spot where you want them. You don't want to have to move them around after they're already lit. And now all that's left to do is light them up. And these are so pretty, guys. I think that they're adorable and they make really, really cute room decor. Next up, let's make the mermaid-inspired bath bombs. These are so pretty. I'm gonna start off by making some seashells out of soap. You can just get this soap from the craft store and I'm just going to chop it up and melt it down. Then we'll just pour this into our seashell mold. And these are optional by the way, but I do think they add a really cute touch. And then pop that into the fridge for about 10 minutes, just until it is fully set. Then just pop these out of the mold and you are good to go. Super pretty, the seashells and the plate. And then for our bath bomb mixture, you're going to need a half cup of baking soda, along with a quarter cup of citric acid, a quarter cup of Epsom salt, and a quarter cup of cornstarch. Then just grab a whisk and mix that all through. 
Once you've got that combined, move on over to a separate bowl and add in a tablespoon of olive oil. And yes, I did temporarily forget that a tablespoon is three teaspoons. Now just scoop in two teaspoons of water and pour in a quarter teaspoon of essential oil. Pick whatever scent floats your boat. I like lavender a lot because it's nice and calming and relaxing. And I also didn't really think ocean scent would be very nice, so I went with the lavender. Now it's time to add in your coloring. I'm using some food color here, but just a warning, if you're gonna use food color, don't add in more than a drop. If you add in more, you run the risk of staining your tub or your skin. So otherwise you could use soap color, but I just find that the colors aren't as vibrant. And then just start pouring this into your dry ingredients. Make sure that you are whisking constantly though, otherwise it's gonna start to fizz up, which you don't want to happen just yet. And then once you finish that up, just make any other colors that you would like to. Here I went with the purple to stick with that oceany vibe. And then we can start packing it into the bath bomb mold. So I started off by sticking the shell at the bottom and then I'm going to lay the bath bomb mixture on top. And then fill up the other hemisphere as well and then add a little more on top before you squish them together. What I've noticed from making bath bombs is that you really wanna pack a ton of the mixture in there. And in fact, if you don't see it overflowing from the sides, it's probably not packed tight enough. But don't sweat it though, you can just add some more in and then repack it. And then since I got my bath bomb mold in a four pack, I got a seashell one too. So of course I made that one as well. Then pop both of those into the fridge for about 20 minutes just so they can firm up. And then after 20 minutes, just go ahead and pop them out of the molds. They should come out pretty easily, but on one of my bath bombs, it got stuck. If that happens to you though, don't worry. You can just take it out of the mold and pack it back on. Nobody will even know, except you and me, but you didn't see that. Anyways though, now our bath bomb is finished. How cute and easy is that? And then I also popped out my seashell bath bomb, also super cute, low key struggling to get out of the mold, but I love this one too. And then to make these look extra cute, I'm just going to brush some gold luster dust on them. And I just mixed it with a little bit of clear vanilla extract, just so it's more like a paint. Don't go too crazy with the luster dust here though. You don't want it to be staining your tub or anything like that. A little bit goes a long way. And now our mermaid inspired bath bombs are finished. These are super fizzy and they make a great fun addition to your bath. And then to finish it off, let's make the mermaid inspired paintings. I'm no professional painter, these are just some fun ideas, but we're going to start off with a beach scene one. So I'm just sponging on an ombre of different blues, and this way it looks like waves crashing on the shore. And then you're going to need some Mod Podge, and I'm just going to brush this on the lower corner, and then sprinkle some sand over top. And I got this sand from the craft store. I basically bought like a whole beach from the craft store because I got the sand and I got the seashells, but that's the idea. It's like bringing the beach into your own home. And if you find that it's still a little bit patchy, just add some more sand on top with more Mod Podge. Once you've got that ready to go, just hot glue on some little seashells. And then to make these look extra cute, I'm going to add some faces to them. Again, I'm just using some acrylic paint here and a toothpick. And then I also decided to add a quote at the top with some gold sticker letters. I think this one is adorable and it adds a nice beachy touch to your room. Next up for the seashell canvas, I'm going to start off by painting the whole thing a light pink, and then I'm just going to freehand the seashell. If you're not comfortable freehanding though, you could print an image of a seashell, and then cut that out and trace it onto the canvas. And then, you guys know me, I had to add a face onto it. And then the final touch was a gold border. This guy is so cute, and it's probably the easiest one. And then our final little bit of painting here, we're going to make the mermaid one. So I'm starting off by painting the entire canvas a nice light purple. And then with a lilac color, I'm just going to paint these waves in the background. And then I'm basically just going to freehand the mermaid. At first, I was a little bit nervous about this, but it turns out it's actually pretty simple. You're just going to start off by making the head, arms, and chest. And you might have to do a second coat of paint just to get it opaque. Then paint on the seashell bra, and then add on her tail. These are all pretty simple shapes and they're all smooth round edges, so it's not too hard to do. But also you could just print out a template of a mermaid, trace that, and paint over it. Now I'm also adding some dark purple accents on the tail, and then I painted on the teal hair. Next up, just add the face on, and she's got some nice eyelashes, a little smile, and a seashell in her hair, and white dots in her eyes. 
And that's it for our paintings, guys. Super simple, and I hope you enjoy. All right, guys, our mermaid-inspired DIYs are all finished now, and I think that these are super fun, really great for the summertime. But anyways, though, thank you so much for watching, and then also, if you are not subscribed already, then make sure you tap that button down below for new videos every single week. You can also follow me on social media at Kawaii Sweet Eats, and then check out the Etsy sticker shop right up there, and then click down below for my last video, which was my Jaw My Life video. I'm so glad you guys enjoyed that video. I put a lot of heart and a lot of work into it, and so I'm so glad that you guys liked it. It just warms my heart. But I think that's about it. Thank you so much for watching again, and I'll see you back here very soon. Bye, guys.